Another day, another story. Money is a system of exchange that facilitates the buying and selling of goods and services. It can take many forms, such as coins, paper currency, electronic transactions, or even commodities like gold and silver. In the global economy, money is an essential component of the financial system, and it plays a critical role in how economies operate. There are several key elements to how money works in the world system. Currency. Every country has its own currency, which is used to buy and sell goods and services within its borders. The value of a currency is determined by supply and demand factors, such as the country's economic stability, political climate, and interest rates. Exchange rates. When people trade between different countries, they need to exchange their currencies at an exchange rate. Exchange rates fluctuate constantly based on a variety of factors, including economic performance, political events, and market sentiment. Central banks. Central banks are responsible for regulating the money supply and interest rates in their respective countries. They do this through a variety of tools, including open market operations, reserve requirements, and interest rate policies. International Monetary System. The International Monetary System is a complex network of institutions and agreements that facilitate global trade and finance. The International Monetary Fund IMF, is a key player in this system, providing loans and financial support to countries in need. Payment Systems. In addition to physical cash and coins, money can be exchanged electronically through a variety of payment systems, such as credit cards, debit cards, and mobile payments. These systems are often subject to regulations and fees. Overall, the world system of money is a complex and interconnected network of currencies, institutions, and technologies that enable the exchange of goods and services across borders. Understanding how money works is essential for anyone who wants to participate in the global economy. Sure, here are some additional details on how money works in the world system. Fractional Reserve Banking Fractional reserve banking is a system in which banks hold only a fraction of the money deposited by their customers as reserves, and lend out the rest. This system allows for the creation of new money through lending, which can stimulate economic growth but also carries risks. Inflation. Inflation is the increase in the general level of prices of goods and services over time. It is often caused by an increase in the money supply, which can reduce the value of individual units of currency. Central banks attempt to manage inflation through monetary policy, such as adjusting interest rates and controlling the money supply. International trade and capital flows. Money plays a critical role in international trade and capital flows, which involve the movement of goods, services, and investments across borders. Currency exchange rates, interest rates, and political stability are all factors that can influence these flows. Financial markets. Financial markets are a key component of the global money system, providing a platform for buying and selling financial instruments such as stocks, bonds, and derivatives. These markets are subject to regulation and oversight to ensure they operate fairly and transparently. Cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are a relatively new form of digital money that use cryptography to secure transactions and control the creation of new units. While they have gained popularity in recent years, they also carry risks and uncertainties due to their decentralized and unregulated nature. In summary, the world system of money is a complex and dynamic ecosystem that involves a range of institutions, technologies, and actors. Understanding how money works can help individuals and organizations navigate the global economy and make informed decisions about financial matters. Certainly, here are some additional details on how money works in the world system. Derivatives. Derivatives are financial instruments that derive their value from an underlying asset or index, such as stocks, bonds, or commodities. They are used for a variety of purposes, including hedging against risks and speculating on market movements. Financial regulation. Financial regulation refers to the rules and laws that govern the operation of financial institutions and markets. These regulations are intended to promote stability, transparency, and fairness in the financial system. Money supply. The money supply refers to the amount of money in circulation within an economy. Central banks use a range of tools, such as open market operations and reserve requirements, to control the money supply and influence economic activity. Fiscal policy. Fiscal policy refers to the use of government spending and taxation to influence economic activity. It can be used to stimulate growth, control inflation, and promote other economic goals. Debt. 
Debt is a financial obligation that arises when one party borrows money from another. Governments, individuals, and corporations all use debt for a variety of purposes, such as financing investments or managing cash flow. However, excessive debt can also lead to financial instability and economic crises. In summary, the world system of money is a vast and complex web of institutions, technologies, and regulations that facilitate the exchange of goods, services, and financial instruments across borders. Understanding how money works is essential for anyone who wants to participate in the global economy and make informed decisions about their finances. Certainly, here are some additional details on how money works in the world system. Monetary Policy Monetary policy refers to the actions taken by a central bank to manage the money supply and influence interest rates. These policies are intended to promote economic stability and growth. International Financial Institutions International financial institutions, such as the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund IMF, play a critical role in the global money system. They provide financial assistance to countries in need, promote economic development, and help manage financial crises. Capital Markets Capital markets are financial markets that allow companies and governments to raise long-term funds by issuing securities, such as stocks and bonds. These markets play a critical role in allocating capital to its most productive uses. Credit Credit is the ability to borrow money or obtain goods or services with the understanding that payment will be made at a later time. Credit is essential to many aspects of the global economy, including consumer spending, business investment, and international trade. Electronic payment systems Electronic payment systems, such as online banking and mobile payments, have revolutionized the way people exchange money. These systems offer convenience and efficiency, but also carry risks such as fraud and cybersecurity threats. In summary, the world system of money is a complex and ever-evolving ecosystem that involves a range of institutions, technologies, and actors. Understanding how money works is essential for anyone who wants to participate in the global economy and make informed decisions about their financial future.